Hi, I'm Cory Joe, we CJ, and today we are going to be doing a kind of weird deck tech that I thought would be a really cool idea to do as a deck. I will not be building it myself, however, if you're interested in the deck, it is on my Mox field, but I'll be going over through majority of it in this video. So when it comes to this deck, I wanted to make a Voltron deck with one of the new cards from the Aftermath set. Now I know people are thinking, oh, it's a Nahiri deck. No, this is Karn. I'm making a colorless Karn Voltron deck because I thought it would be weird. Now I know here is the easy one, but this has that little bit of struggle and if it works well, it is very, very weird. And in my opinion, playtesting and stuff like that, it does seem like it's actually better than I originally thought. So the commander of this deck is... When it comes to the creatures of this deck, because it's not really a creature heavy deck, the whole point is to have artifact equipment, there are six creatures in total. Two of them are just to make artifacts cheaper, two of them are to bring artifacts back, one is a mana rock, and then one is a card that is a creature, but it's mainly to do something really ridiculous and funny later on. So the whole point of this deck is to vulture on attack with your commander and win with uh, commander damage and there is 53 artifacts in this deck. The main reason that being is I'm trying to put high cost ones to power up Karn naturally, equipment to power up Karn as well and then give him as many keywords ability especially with the lifelink because it's a Voltron deck you kind of want to smash someone with high damage to gain enough life to kind of be able to last because this deck seems, in my opinion, that people are going to target it. It is going to be 3v1 with how fast you ramp in this deck and then how much damage. It's, it's possible. So, of course, all 10 swords are in here. I don't care what the swords do, it gives you protection from colours. So, if you are able to get these as fast as possible and put as many swords as you can on Karn, one, I'm thinking of Karn as that guy from Star Wars, General Grievous at this point, where he has loads of arms with all the lightsabers in them and just bashing through your opponents. There is also your classic mana rocks in here, like these on screen. Ways to draw and gain life and then this guy that's able to double it and here they are on screen. Then just different equipments to give him like lifelink and double strike and basic land walk and stuff like that. And here they are on screen. So I also put Aether Flux Reservoir in this deck mainly because if you lifelink someone through and have enough life you're able to then activate the ability to pop someone else. And then since you're playing a lot of artifacts with the free mana you get from him and other artifacts, you're hopefully able to play two or three cards per turn to gain enough health. So in that one turn, you're able to rather hopefully pop your last two opponents or two opponents and then live long enough to pop the third. And then when it comes to lands, there's only four here that are not wastes. And here they are on screen now. So as of recording this, this deck is roughly 505 euros. I don't know what that is for my American audience, but it seems to be a very fun deck. However, it does seem to be a deck you can't really go cheap on because you need the big expensive cards to do the ridiculous things. And I'm absolutely in love with this deck. I wish I could build it. I wish I could play it, but I know it's one of those things that I'll do it twice, think it's hilarious and then never do it again. But as always let me know what you think of this deck in the comments down below let me know if there's any artifacts or creature cards or anything else you would put in this deck while you're down there remember to like subscribe and follow and follow me on all my social media and i'll see you in the next video and if you like this video i have another deck tech here a playlist of other deck techs and then a subscribe button where i'm planning on making more deck techs more magic the gathering videos that people can enjoy and i will see you all in the next video